The Breakfast Flakes podcast brought to you by the Blue Cat Bar and Grill. Next to the Roadside Event Center in Hudley. The Blue Cat, it's where it's at. 525, Mark and Paul getting ready for the day ahead. Paul's grabbing coffee. Got my Diet Pepsi. Scanning, printing. Our little gossip session here. Paul and I get rest of the day. You're kind of too busy. Other things going on. Prepping for the next segment you're going to do. Had a newer employee say, uh, well, you guys are always kind of crappy, so it's hard to talk to you. Well, busy. <laughs> this this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is the job. You want to come back and chat about 945? Come on in. And love to talk to you. How the kids doing? How's things with the husband? All good. Uh, did get a note. Friend of ours traveling out west of Laurel. It is a little foggy. <laughs> <laughs> that eye roll is the reason I come to work. Already? <laughs> wow. A little foggy out that way. Well, I think we missed uh, we missed an opportunity on this one. In news the other day, Paul had the story about Washington's going to get 200 grizzlies. Meanwhile, in Montana, we shot one yesterday. Yeah. Grizzly bear euthanized after cattle depredation on private land along the Rocky Mountain Front. 375-pound animal had been relocated by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. <laughs> Folks, this, this bear was shot by Sims. And for those of you that don't know your Cascade County geography, that's 30 miles from Great Falls. And you know why there's bears coming to Great Falls? Because this one was only 375 pounds. The real monsters that you see pictures of on Facebook with paws the size of two human heads. Yeah, they're the ones that got the prime territory up in the mountains, which is one of the reasons I don't hike. <laughs> well, one of that's one, not the main one. The that's other the- one is you can't take a cart. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd hike all the time. Yeah. Grizzly bears in the lowers 48 are listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Washington, you sure you only want 200 of them? Because we've got more. Whatever number they're telling you, that's not the real number. Going through stuff, and folks, I know there's a lot of public meetings, and people don't want to go to city council meetings and that kind of stuff. You're home for the night. You want to be home for the night. I get it. But I would encourage you to maybe attend this one, especially if you live in Lockwood. Lockwood Optimist Club presents Drugs Affecting Yellowstone County. Because if you're like me, you just go home to your little piece of heaven, and we don't have drugs in our neighborhood, at least that I know of. Uh, They're going to have a guest speaker, retired DEA agent Stacy Zinn, who we've had in a couple of times and gotten to know a little bit. And uh, keeping in mind, there's a bunch of stuff she can't tell you because it's stuff they're still working on and it's classified. She's got 23 years experience battling the Mexican cartels, and she will give you a little bit of what is happening right now in our community and what you need to be aware of. Events free. It's Wednesday, April 24th, Lockwood High School Community Room. And, uh, you know, we knew a little, but uh, talking to her to her both on and off the air, folks has got to be a little more dangerous place where we live. But also, it's refreshing to know that most of the crime is done by the same people all the time. Right. We know who they are. Right. Now, Paul and I say that because Paul and I profile. Mm-hmm. We're, we're two of those people. I, I can generally look at a guy and tell you if he's no good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the same way with work ethic. Oh. I can look at somebody and can tell you if you're a slug yeah. or if you're somebody I want working for me. Right. And um, you're yep. not allowed to do that anymore, but uh, I still I still do it. Well, how many people you got working for you right now? Uh, my employment numbers have stayed steady <laughs> throughout this uh, recession Spoken and inflation. Like a, like a true diplomat. <laughs> Thank you. They've stayed steady. I haven't made any changes here. <laughs> I've weathered the storm. You're not saying anything that's not true. Mm. Which is awful. You can thank your, you can thank, uh, in these major cities, you can thank uh, these liberal people running the, look at New York yesterday, that uh, that brave policeman goes up to a car and uh, the guy shoots him. He gets shot in the gut right below his vest. Yeah. Kills him. Uh, he radioed in. He was hit and uh, gave description of the car. They found the guy. The guy had been arrested and uh, in trouble with the police 21 times. My God. And he's, and, and he's free. Well, sure. You're not allowed. Uh, and by the way, we don't know, we don't know his race. We don't know his gender. We don't know anything like that about him it's not released because if it doesn't work for them right they won't release that and uh pisses me off what these guys do and what we pay them how come police don't get the same accolades and the same praise as teachers Hmm? See, this is the kind of stuff you won't hear out of the places because you're not allowed to say it. Right. I'll say it. I have I have the utmost respect for teachers and what they do. But, you know, let's keep the playing field level here. What about what they do every day? Every day. They, teachers teachers at least know that they'll probably come home at night. Right. Policemen don't know. They don't know. And yet they do it. 
Yet they do it. Yesterday, for instance, when that bridge collapsed, when the bridge collapsed, immediately, immediately, police, firemen, rescuers race to the scene of a bridge that collapsed, and there's people in the water. Police are being told... The whole bridge is down. Stay off of the bridge. Uh, there's people in the water. And you know what the police did anyway? Yeah. They ran out onto the bridge anyway. They didn't know if the rest of the bridge was going to fall in the water, but they went out there anyway. And they start looking for survivors. They start looking for people to help. Just like 9-11. Those guys, they ran into that building and they know they were dead. Who would do that? Who would run into a building knowing you're dead? If I go in that building, I'm dead. We just saw the other one go down. This one's going down and yet I'm going to climb up 80 floors and I'm going to die with everybody that's with me. Right. And they did it anyway. Yeah. And look what kind of respect we give these people. We hold all these other people to a higher level. These guys can take a bullet at any time. And why are they taking more and more bullets? Does it seem like? Because if they arrest them, you're racist. You only arrested him because he's Hispanic or you only arrested him because he's a black male and there's a disproportionate amount of them in prison than others. So we need to let them out and we let them out and then they kill or they maim or they rob or they steal again because the judges who should be held accountable that we put in there let them out how did the judges get in there well you voted for a lot of them same way they're appointed by these liberal progressive new diversity inclusion equity people and they want to incorporate that in justice that's not what justice is justice says you can't drive 55 in a 35 right. that's what justice is doesn't matter what kind of car you have, what color you are, if you had your dingling removed or not, it doesn't matter. But in the courts now and in these other big cities, it matters. It matters now. And we let them out on the street. Illegal immigrants charging into the country. Males, 18 to 25, the majority of them. Records, criminals, thugs, the waste of other countries being sent into ours so it's no longer their problem. And they kill and they rob and they steal. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. We've arrested more known terrorists at the border in the last year than we did the last 20. Yeah. So you won't hear this on Color 8 no. or KTVQ, these liberal media organizations that all have agendas. They've all bought. They all bought into this diversity, inclusion, equity thing. And it's killing us killing us. I buy into merit. That's what I That's what I buy into. Merit. I don't care who you are, what you do in your bedroom, what color you are, the size. I don't care. For me, it's merit. I agree. Based on merit. If you're the best, I want you. Period. That's it. Not because I, I have to because of new legislation that was passed saying I've got to have a certain amount of this and a certain amount of that and a certain amount of this. You can't keep this many people in prison if you only have this many people in prison. Blah, blah, blah. We let them on the street and people People die. Yeah. People die. Judges, same way. Let them out. And then people die. Lake and Riley, same one. Beautiful girl, killed by an illegal. Had a massive record. Been arrested before in America. Never deported him. Why? Judge. Judge never deported him. No, no, we need them here. Well, you know, they're following along the political playbook of that party. That's right. We, we need them here. You know, they tried to pass that, that bill in the Senate, and John Tester wouldn't vote for the Lake and Riley bill. No. Wouldn't vote for it. John Tester. And it's not like you can get a hold of the guy to ask him questions. Yeah. He ain't going to vote for that. Why? Because destructive Schumer told him not to. John, you want to continue to see your wealth grow, your status grow, your opportunity grow, your riches? Then you follow me and play along, and I'll make sure that you're rewarded. If you don't, I'll make sure you don't win another election. Okay, so he doesn't vote for it. What a puke. That's because it wasn't John Tester's daughter. Boy, that's a good line. You're exactly right. Yeah, wasn't his daughter. Same way with that Karen Moses from Billings, the ex school went up there and blasted people for sticking up for Emily Pennington. Mm -hmm. And look at the way her whack husband judge ruled. Not based on merit. Not based on what's right. No, none of that. Got to get these people out. Got to get them out. That cop should still be alive. Had he young son, just married, been on the force three years. He's dead. Should be alive. That guy's 21 times. You know, if my kids were late, I'd give them a chance again after they paid the penalty. Right. They didn't go out the very next weekend. Say, let's try it again. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. 21 times. Guy's out. Finally shoots a policeman, kills him. 
illegal immigrant. Same thing. This happens tens of thousands of times a day in our country. That's true. This is just one that got reported because of a death. Yeah. Same thing with Billings. All these guys in Billings, these police, they know them. They know them by name. They know their car. They know what they look like. They know where the house is. They get a call on their on their, on their uh, radio that says, we got a disturbance at such and such. They've been there 15 times before. They know what's going to happen. True story. Crazy. Look how we treat them. Andrea Ocasio-Cortez. She's a commie. She's one of the worst things for America. She's a sickness that spreads among young women and progressives in this country. And she's dumb. She has no idea what she's talking about. And she inflames this rhetoric. And people buy it. And they watch her on TikTok and Facebook and all this other bull crap. And they buy it. They buy her crap. Police are mean and blah, blah, blah. We need to cut their funding and blah, 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 blah. And the first thing she does is when somebody threatens her is call security. Yeah. She's awful. Awful for the country. And that's why they won't share our comments. Only two guys in the state of Montana working yeah. for this company. They won't share ours. Oh, I haven't looked at your article from yesterday. Oh, yeah, I haven't either. I looked at mine. It's weird. Nobody cared about my thoughts on autographs. Really? Yeah. Well, I did, Mark. I, <laughs> Thanks, thought, it, I thought it was excellent. You've always been my biggest supporter. I was very interested in it. <laughs> These poor policemen don't have a chance. Ran yesterday to that bridge. Firemen, rescuers, anybody they could get. Anybody that had any diving experience immediately ran to the scene to try to get in to find those people submerged and those workers. The lives that they saved instantly. We're learning more and more every day. The captain of that ship called in a May Day when he lost power because he knows they've had trouble. That is a treacherous area there anyway. Right. And he called in a May Day and police were able to run this at, in the middle of the night. Remember, this wasn't prime time in the morning. No. Ran to the scene and immediately stopped traffic from getting on the bridge. Or that could have been oh, far worse. Or if it happened during a different time of oh day. Oh my gosh. These guys were told to stand down. Do not go out on the bridge. It's unstable. We don't know. And you know what? They ran out there anyway to see if there was somebody trapped, somebody swimming below. They did it anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you had people like Talib and Andrea Caso cortez just blasting. Look at Philly. Look at what a, a hole that is. The war on the policemen there. Run All these cities are run by these liberal nut jobs. Mm -hmm. The mayor in Chicago. The governor in California. Shoplifting rules. Steal a thousand dollars and run and we won't bother you. This is America that we live in, folks. And these are the people that are running it. And you folks voted for them. You put them in office. I can't, I can't stand to talk about this stuff with people that I know have put these people in power. John Tester included. John Tester wouldn't support that Lake and Riley bill. Wouldn't do it. He's one of us. He's not one of me. He must be one of you folks. In <laughs> fact, he's about three of you is what he is. He's not one of me. He's one of you. Because I would have supported that bill, hands down. Any good American would have. These thugs should not be coming into our country and giving notices to appear. That's what they're giving in billings. Mm -hmm. That's what they're giving all over now. Well, we'll let you back out on the street. You just got to promise to be good and appear on your... Hey, unless your crime is pretty outstanding, they'll drive you to the jail, and the jail says, well, we're not taking you. That's right. Well, here's a message. Talk, talking about Billings Police, I went a ride along on a ride along with a cop from the Billings Police Department. He knew every person's name and address. <laughs> See, just think what crime would be like, folks, in Billings. If all of those repeaters that these police deal with on a yearly basis, if they were all in jail. Yeah. Somebody that breaks into your car, breaks into your home, sells meth, trespasses at a store, shoplifts. You think it was just something they decided that day? No. No, this is their career. That's it. Yeah, the, crime's the, a career. The, they're not doing this until they can get by or until they can get called back from the, where they applied at Walmart. Mm -hmm. They. This is what they do. Being poor used to be temporary. Poverty now is a way of life. And the people in the government have made it so you can do that. So way of life. They just keep you hooked enough to where you stay there. Mm -hmm. And you need them and you check that box. That's right. You check that box. It's crazy what we do here. These liberal media outlets, they just carry the torch for that agenda. Your local ones are as bad as anyone. KTVQ and Color 8 and your paper, they're just like everyone else. You don't think they're biased? In fact, that COVID article I wrote yesterday, I wrote about what? why did KTVQ stop giving us the COVID death count when and we've seen more COVID deaths than we did during Trump. Mm -hmm. I wrote about it. I gave you the numbers from the CDC. So I don't want to hear it from you. Well, we were heading into an election and they wanted to, they wanted to accentuate the 
seriousness of the death and what President Trump did to the country. That's why they did it. Yeah. Only reason why they did it. You don't think they're biased? NBC, NBC hired last week a former Republican National Committee member, Rona McDaniel, to be an on-air political contributor. Guess what? The inbred Democrats that are on NBC, which is all of them, had a fit. They're all pro-liberal, pro-progressive, anti-Semitic, hate Israel, hate America. It's not fair. A diversity, inclusion, equity bunch. They all raise tell about it. Join us at the Blue Cat Bar and Grill for unforgettable weekly entertainment. Every Friday night, come hungry and savor their delicious prime rib dinner. Wednesday at the Blue Cat are Wilson Wednesdays, dedicated to esteemed regular Mark Wilson. Also enjoy steak night every Wednesday. And for you music lovers, head to the Blue Cat for karaoke night. Join in the fun at the Roadside Event Center right next door for a bingo session or two. Don't miss out on all the fun at the Blue Cat Bar and Grill at 139 Northern Avenue in Huntley. So you know what NBC did? They fired her. Why? Because NBC wants to continue its bias reporting. They wanted nothing from both. This is what I tell you about all the time. Yeah. They wanted nothing from both sides. They didn't want to just give you the news. They wanted to pump you full of liberal insulin yeah. is what they do. And they had a fit. So they fired her. They fired her. NBC said they wanted someone with knowledge and perspective about the other side, which is what news is supposed to be. And and they had a fit. Rachel Mad Cow and all the rest of them had a fit. Protested it. Their ratings all suck, too. You know what? Their ratings are awful. Right. These CNN people and stuff, awful. They're, they're supported by the DNC. They get millions of dollars from these people to keep them on the air. And their ratings are miserable. Awful. Miserable. Fired her. You get the same thing here in town, folks. Same thing. They don't give you anything that's fair or accurate or give you the damn truth. You, they, you, they, don't, you don't have any breaking news stories, investigative reporting. They give you their spin on everything. On everything. And they read it exactly how it's given to them. They're little puppies. They just follow along and they don't use their brains. Yeah, where's been the story on COVID? I really put some work into that article yesterday and nobody probably read it. Two comments. Almost 1.2 million COVID deaths now, folks. Mm -hmm. Trump had only 400,000 of them. Mm -hmm. Eight, remember Biden said Trump killed all those people. Who killed the last almost 1 million? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know late last year in my hometown of Great Falls, you couldn't get into a hospital yeah. full, full of COVID patients. Last week, there were over 10,000 hospitalizations. I put that in the article. These are CDC numbers. Nothing. No KTVQ update on that. Nothing. What about the booster? Huh? Remember the fifth one that came out and we were all dirty bastards if you don't get COVID because you're going to kill people. That's right. Where's the, by the way, where is the sixth one? Great question. Fair question. Not a biased question. Where's, where's the answer? Where's number six? Right. Because they said you need to get these about every six months. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a new booster out for some time now. How come we don't have our six booster? Huh? Where in the hell did that go? Gone. We don't have a six one yet. So Biden kills almost a million in his last three and a half years and nothing. He doesn't have blood on his hands. Not his fault. And KTVQ won't cover it. Color 8 won't cover it. Your paper won't cover it. Why? Because they're all in bed. It's one big political orgy. These people are changing back and forth. People that all have the same mindset all the time. It's crazy. I can't even stand it. So I go down and walk around my cows, talk to them a little bit. <laughs> That's what keeps you calm. That's, it calms me down. You know, I, I like I like being around things that have some intelligence. <laughs> And they're starting to see backlash, too, in America. Hopefully. Maybe there is hope, folks. You know, you like to stay optimistic. People are starting to fight back, getting rid of this diversity, inclusion, equity thing. Look what your downtown Billings Association did. They sold a Charles Bear painting to start an, in an inclusion and diversity program among businesses down there on a painting that was donated to them, sold it. And then what do they tell the rest of us? You're not allowed to hand flags out during the parade. Oh, my God. God, we... Huh? That's why the next one, there's going to be flags. People are starting to fight back. Well, we have to. The, it, the time has come. They go after, they, they constantly go after Donald Trump. And every time they do, the resolve of the American people gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Gets stronger and stronger. Classified documents investigation into Trump gaining momentum, momentum as that case now is happening in Washington, D.C., trying to get him to trial. President Trump, classified documents case. He was president. He's allowed to have them. Now, Joe Biden was a piece of crap. 
He was a senator, in fact, wasn't even in after he got out of vice president, of which none of them are allowed classified documents. He took them, he stole them, he got a book deal because of them, handed them over to people, had them in his garage. Not one prosecution has gone against Joe Biden, and he was not allowed to have them. Trump was allowed to have them. Hand in a secure place in mar a raided his home. Press is covering this like he's John Dillinger, and nothing on Biden. Why? Your Department of Justice corrupt as hell. They're corrupt as hell. Mm -hmm. Merrick Garland should be behind bars. The FBI, the CIA. Folks, we've lost control of these people. And Q2, Color 8, and your Gazette, they all cover it that way. They're all in bed together, folks. This is what we're up against. But we're fighting back. They had a county up in New York City restricting transgenders, women, from being in their roller derby league. So you got a guy, you got a gal that's six foot four, two fifty, <laughs> got testosterone running through her her I'm gonna, body. I want to do the windmill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they didn't want her in the league. Oh no, no, wait, that's yeah, that's wrong. Can't do that. Join us at the Blue Cat Bar and Grill for unforgettable weekly entertainment every Friday night. Come hungry and savor their delicious prime rib dinner. Wednesday at the Blue Cat are Wilson Wednesdays, dedicated to esteemed regular Mark. Wilson. Also enjoy steak night every Wednesday. And for you music lovers, head to the Blue Cat for karaoke night. Join in the fun at the Roadside Event Center right next door for a bingo session or two. Don't miss out on all the fun at the Blue Cat Bar and Grill at 139 Northern Avenue in Huntley. This is what we're dealing with every day. Every day. They got a fight on their hands. Nobody does what's right. Police do what's right, and we make them villains every day. Put other people up on a pedestal, like these transgenders trying to play roller derby or trying to be on the women's swim team. Put them on a pedestal. And we throw the others who do good things overboard every day in order to move their progressive agenda ahead. You know, people that want to hand out flags at parades. Oh, no, no, you you can't. D-E-I means didn't earn it. I like that. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see if there's enough resolve in America to try to turn it around. I know there's enough resolve here about the flag issue in the parades. Mm -hmm. We've heard a lot, and that's going to be big. And I hope KTVQ and Color 8 and the Gazette cover it. When we all line up and get arrested, mm -hmm. please arrest me for handing out a flag and a sucker. I want the Downtown Billings Association to arrest me. I want to make it a national story. I want to be on every news station in America. They won't have me on there. And everybody else that comes with us. You, you tramps, what the hand out American flags at a parade? We don't allow that in our parade. Not in our town. That's right. <laughs> You'll know the DBA. They're the ones walking first in the parade with the red flags with the stars on it and the uh, half moon. Uh, the sickles, yes. That's that's the one. You bet. Arrest me. Things you want to know about the Mega Millions jackpot. They won that last night. Somebody in New Jersey. One ticket. 1.1 billion. Powerball is close to 900 million. That'll be tonight. <clears throat> that, uh, that Mega Millions, there was one guy in New York who got all five of the white balls. That's worth three million. Oh, it was? Yeah, oh. but, which, which I didn't know. Do you ever take the double thing? No. I don't either. Well, I didn't If I didn't take, if I don't want a billion dollars, mm -hmm. I don't know what your financial situation is, but a billion's going to do me. I should cover it. <laughs> yeah, I, I never do that. I, uh, I never take the double. However, now when we play uh, Caribbean poker, I always put the dollar mm -hmm. uh, up because if you got a good hand and you won. Right. Uh, you got that whatever the jackpot thing was. So. Right. And uh, back on the flakes trips when we used to go to places where you could gamble, you know, Paul and I both set aside a hundred bucks and if you lose a hundred bucks, man, you're devastated. Oh yeah. But it's only a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> we killed the better part of an afternoon one day on, was it 50 cent roulette? Mm -hmm. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of which, good news and bad news. <laughs> yeah. The good news is, folks, we've got about 140 people now signed up for the flakes trip. Wow. Yeah. That's the good news. <laughs> What's the bad news? Well, like? I got more good news. Okay. The other good news is there's still two more spots available for the one we give away. Because mm -hmm. we're going to give, in fact, yesterday we had a little meeting here with our market president. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we were trying to get dates of when the Flakes trip giveaway would be. And, you know, down the road, you got to be uh, planned for these things. So uh, we know that's going to happen. The bad news is you, you can't get one now. Mm -hmm. um, tried to tell you. And, uh, but Carol told me, 
me she is starting a waiting list because over the course of the year, some people have to cancel. Uh, we, the, 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 the couple two years ago where the wife got COVID yeah, right before. Right before. And they were going to go. They had to cancel. Mm. And so that one pops up. Um, somebody's daughter is pregnant and having a baby and they can't go. Uh, you have to go away for a, a work related thing or something and mm. you can't cancel it or something. I mean, stuff like that happens all the time. So uh, she has started a waiting list now. And so if, and a couple of those will pop up. Some people decide, you know, we've decided we shouldn't probably go. Uh, we we ran into a financial problem, a medical issue. Mm-hmm. We got to have his knee done in December. He's not going to be ready. I mean, we hear that kind of stuff all the time. So she is putting together a waiting list uh, for people. So and well, we, <laughs> while you were talking there, it reminded me of four years ago. It, you had to COVID test before you could leave. And if you tested positive, they put you in a different building just for people that pop positive. Uh-huh. And there was one married couple that went. The husband got COVID, so he got sent to the building, but she, she left anyway. I know. She came home. <laughs> she came home, and he, he was, wasn't happy. No, but. it was funnier than hell, though. <laughs> but you don't have to worry about that anymore. What? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that anymore. No. Nope. I wrote a very interesting article <laughs> uh, yesterday, Mark, about that. Why? No distancing? Right. And we got thousands and thousands of people dying, mm-hmm. almost a million in the last three years under Joe Biden. And nobody talks about it. No booster. Nothing. Yeah. Isn't that something? Yeah. Different people. Right. Different political approach. Right. Different agendas at these news organizations. Right. 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 I don't give you the truth. I gave you the numbers from the CDC. Mm-hmm. All in there. Which you all treated as your messiah during during the pandemic. Absolutely. CDC says. CDC says. Mm-hmm. But the trip is full. And uh, actually, actually, we were able to, uh, to get even more people because... A lot of other people took an opportunity to go outside of the group package, um, leave a day early, stay a day later, Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing, which opened up more of the regular packaged avails Mm -hmm. for January 20th and 21st, the departure dates. See, that's where I'm going to be an MVP in January, because if I'm unemployed and they need somebody to wait a couple more days. There you go. Well, that's very nice of you, Mark. You you guys take my seat. I'll hold down the fort here. uh, Oh, yeah. That's really nice. That's Maria. I need another one of these, please. Yes, Mr. Whiskers. Yes, Mr. Whiskers. See, Poppy, how are you? Yeah, they do a great job down there. So anyway, that's the good news and uh, the bad news about that. But it'll make for a great trip party again this year when we do that. If we're out of jail. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the sentence is for flag distribution. Yeah, and Tootsie Rolls. I'm going to hand out Tootsie Rolls to the little girls. Um, but they're going to need a lot of cops. Because there's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of people. And you know what cops and billings don't want to do? Arrest people handing out American flags and parades. Absolutely. Yeah. There'll be tougher security there trying not to, to prevent people from sneaking into the parade than there will be at our border. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, of course, yesterday after the bridge collapse, all of a sudden all the stories pop up around the country. A list of major bridge collapses mm-hmm. caused by ships that burn fossil fuels in barges that are polluting our rivers and streams in America. They even did them here locally. How? What condition are our bridges in? Dumb. There's been 35 bridge collapses since 1960 to 2015 due to shipper barge collisions. Sunshine Skyway Bridge that spans Florida's Tampa Bay. Bay collapsed, one of the most famous ones. I've been across that bridge, I don't know how many times, Mm -hmm. dozens of times. Well, I've been under it. Mm -hmm. Barge hit a bridge, tugboat and barge struck a bridge in Texas, St. Louis. So it happens. Happens. It happens. Like anything else, like people in cars, trains, airplanes, we try to do as good a job as we can, Mm -hmm. and it happens. Unless everybody's just going to stay home. Yeah. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is going to highlight infrastructure investments in Montana today. He'll be in western Montana today and tomorrow. I wouldn't have canceled that, you dumbass. I wouldn't have gone to Maryland, where this bridge collapsed, set up a temporary uh, office and camp, answered questions, talked with officials, see what the Department of Transportation can do there. Uh, you know, show some sense of, of care. Mm-hmm. When the train, remember when the train in Ohio went off the tracks. He never went there. No. He's coming to Western Montana. I don't know if you folks know how many barges are in Western Montana (laughs) every year in shipping container ships. Uh It's the same amount as there's always been, Uh which would be zero. 
I don't think anything in Montana moves by river. Not on the Missouri. No. Too many dams. Not on the Yellowstone. Not on the milk. Not on the mussel shell. Just pure recreation. That's it. Nothing moves by water in Montana that I know of. No. Way back in the day, maybe some logs. Yeah. We have railroads. We have that. Oh, I see what he's going to do. He's going to tour infrastructure projects and meet with tribal leaders. Oh, yes. Once again, Mm D-I-E. Folks, we should be concerned about keeping our roads safe, our our bridges repaired, everything for all people, right? For everyone, everyone, everyone. We should all be treated by the law the same. Mm -hmm. See, this is the problem. He's going to hear from students, students on infrastructure. (laughs) He's going to hear from students, folks, on infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Not talking to the DOT, Montana Department of Transportation, anything. No, students going to be talking to them. He's going to try to brainwash them, obviously students. In the meantime, we have a major bridge collapse in Maryland, and he's in Montana talking to students. And he's going to celebrate the progress on a bipartisan infrastructure law projects that are being set up around, which was which was a lottery for people in this country, mm-hmm. spending billions and trillions of dollars on their, where they decide the money goes. Nothing fair. We didn't, we didn't divide that money up by the, by the miles of roads that you have in a state, by the bridges, by the airports. No, nope. they run around and they allocate and they pick and mm-hmm. they choose. Right. All part of that circle. All part of that big hot tub they're all in. Who gets what? He's got a $100 billion budget of these people that work for him. So he's going to be over there today when he should be when he should be meeting with emergency personnel, with uh, transportation coordinators, with the people that work at the docks, with the people, the Army Corps of Engineers, navigation experts. That's where he should be today. Today. Nope. He's in Western Montana, meeting with students and others, tribal leaders. Um, that's what he's... Uh, well, you're going to get a little different look at news, folks, here in just a minute or two. We always say it's fair, it's accurate, and you get the damn truth. It's not what the guys upstairs are telling their anchors to spew. Right. Or who to hire and who not to. Right. Uh, we don't have writers, producers, directors. Yeah. We don't have any we of try, that. We try to see through all that on these stories that we write here and uh, read and, and actually give you some. I'm not going to start this newscast at 622 or whatever whatever. And then at 624, go right to the weather. <laughs> I'm out of news. Mm-hmm. I've done two minutes worth. Right. Uh, and now I'm going to go to the weather. No, you can't possibly cover everything in three to four minutes. No. Well, it's because you're not, you're not doing news. Yeah. You're, get- you're entertainment tonight. And that's what, that's what they want to be. Yeah. So we'll give you everything we have here coming up next on the cat. All right. 614. The Breakfast Flakes podcast brought to you by the Blue Cat Bar and Grill next to the Roadside Event Center in Hudley. The Blue Cat. It's where it's at.